Hey everyone, so I don't honestly know how many of you have heard with heard of Absolver uh, Absolver and not 100% sure how that's pronounced, but you, you saw the, the thing. Um, I pre ordered this game on GOG because I got it free with um, a game called Fury. Anyways, that you can see right there that the title of the game. Um, honestly, it looked like a cool game that I, that I would enjoy, so I figured I'd try it out, and yeah, so, wow, that, these settings are up all the way. This is my first time even opening it. I find it weird that there's not a, maybe this one doesn't have, um, do auto detect. Maybe this doesn't have, um, fuck. What is it called? Oh, apparently those are my auto detect settings. Maybe this doesn't have freaking. God. I'll you know when I think of it. Anyways, new game. Subtitles. Subtitles. There might not be a lot of talking in this, so subtitles are kind of useless. Oh. Well, I see there's a whole create your character thing. I am sorry that this is running slow. As much as the orbit. Oh. These are just kind of different skin colors. I would set myself around there. Um. That's frizzy. Huh. I'm not really sure what to say these here can't. These hair styles aren't really. There's not a lot to go with, to be honest. Um. No. I don't know. I'm gonna go with that, I guess. Oh, what the wild? Ash brown. Oh, and just so you guys know, I'm playing with the controller because. Well, because controller, I don't want to know what it's like with the controller. I'm gonna go with black. Oh, combat styles. Interesting. Hold on a moment, guys. There we go. Sorry, it's helpful to be able to read. Um, so the Forsaken. So I get parry, absorb, dismiss the stun of the attack. And I can recover loss, loss health, which is helpful. That's sturdy. Avoid and slows down the attack. And parry. Okay. So, although I like this, the difficulty on this is a 2, this is a 3, this is a 1 star. Um, first time playing, and honestly I think this is my best um, ability based style for me. Oh, really? I can't have a space. Fine then. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Okay. Yeah, here we are. Um, so I also got a little DLC of like the face mask things. Um, if I remember correctly, I got like three free face masks. So I don't know. I'm not even sure I'm gonna make a series or anything out of this. I might. Um, it just seemed like something interesting to do. I might even have to move where my face is. I might have to go to the top right or something, because... Well... Most of the time, any form of ability is going to be at the bottom. Oh. Shit. And okay, I don't even know if any of that was recorded. Probably was. Um, and since abilities tend to be at the bottom, I obviously don't have the memory. So yeah. There we go. Well, now there's sound. This is also my first recording with system sound. A lot of the times I don't have it on. I really should. But I figured for this game, since it looked like there was going to be sword fighting based, or fighting in general involved, involved, 
Trump. So, kind of a speak. Um, I figured I would turn it on so you can hear like swords going against each other and all that good stuff. No. Now we wait. Why is this taking so long to load? I don't know. I don't think when they say what is loading, but apparently right now that is not something that's happening. Oh, it's gonna take forever. Okay. Hang on, I'm just randomly. That's kind of good. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm gonna pause this recording. Oh, maybe I won't. I am not gonna pause the recording. We are gonna watch the cinematic. That apparently wants to lag. Fuck. There we go. Now I'm holding what I'm assuming is food. This guy just picked a random person, me in this case, I'm guessing. So, is this like initiation? Oh. What is that? Do I have to fight whatever this is? Interesting. I might have to load on the quality, I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna load on the quality. Oh, interesting. Options. Graphics. Um, load on the shadows to be in. Load on the testers and the view distance. Um, keep everything else up. Did I even click apply? I don't know guys. Either way it's it. Looks like I have something in equipment. So um, there was really no good place to fit my face, apparently. My face is all tiny. If I can move it. So I guess this is what I get when I play a game for the first time. 
So there's this mask given by guys. Huh. And then prospect stuff. Oh, I see. That increases, I believe, the weight of it. But my butt and my cat all go cut. I'll go up, so I'll I'll definitely go with the weight increase for that. Oh. So I just have some in the labyrinth. So this is one of the um so literally nothing increases, it just looks like that. I gonna stay with the original look for now. Okay. Weapon powers. I have the heal. That. Okay. Interesting so far. I'm not in a school yet. Yeah, in this city of Scar, which is why it looks crap. Okay. Probably don't want to fall down there. God. So in the bottom left corner, I think if I were to hit, yeah, left on the D-pad in that case would activate my heal ability. Lock. So tap RB. Hold and R to change the target and then tap to unlock. Okay. Neat. So now we're gonna fight at one. At that's why. Tap's gonna seem stamina. Really? Oh my god, I really wish this wouldn't happen. God damn. Whoa. I'm gonna keep that up in my case. The combo deck has four stands as each side with an attack. RT while locked plus R. So, an RT and then I can go. Oh. Huh. There's this one, this one, alternative attacks, allow you to change your stance. So that's like a backwards with my elbow, that's a low. High up, and then that's normal but far. Okay. Oh. So that and why breaks an attack. I don't even know why it's lagging right now. They mean breaking, they don't mean like stopping the attack, they mean like 
legitimately breaking some card. Oh. So I can guard immediately after attacking. So I'm guessing that means I gain some skill. What's this? I think that's where I came down at. That is not. What is in here then? It appears I can break parts. Guess what I'm gonna be doing. Well, that depends if I can break this one. Can I not break this part? There we go. I wonder if I can find anything in this box, or if they just are there for me to break them because... Huh. So far it's up for the lighting, obviously. I do like this game, it's interesting. In a good way that is, I'm just wondering... What am I supposed to be doing? Am I learning martial arts? Is, is there a storyline? Whoa! I had a different button than I intended. Yeah. Oh, what's over there? Huh. Huh. Door. Except I can't break through these doors. Wait. No, I can definitely not break through the doors.
interact. Huh. No, oh god. Yeah. I will go in there at that door, but I'm gonna explore around first. I leveled up my meditation. Interesting. I didn't know that was a skill I was practicing in fighting. But okay. I mean, my meditation is just where I go to level up. Huh, so strength. That's theory. Matt's health, endurance, will is apparently not used much. Mobility is always a good thing. Oh. Then I can LT talk on my weapon over there. So that does. And then if I like. I can't move my ability. Shards refill. Don't know what that is yet. Health. <laughs> I don't know, let's do some strength. Absorb. R will lock you into any droid since before being hit the health lock can, can be regained by dealing damage. So this is how I use the absorb ability. So that's what that was. So that is definitely a hard ability to master. But absorb is also a really useful ability. So I use the healing thing. Of course it's gonna lag when I do that. Oh my god, it lagged me too. back here. Oh, he's a door guardian?
kind of cool. Do I have to hold it? Or does it just naturally increase my health? Oh, level up again. Back into meditation. Um. Let's do my death start. Ironically, uh, increase my damage, but the details of it say for move, moving, mobility, and shit. Yeah, mobility I can increase. Mobility results from equipped weight. Increase stamina recovery speed. Okay. I face that door button behind the random door that I can open. It stands to reason that I'd face another one when using that door. God, is everything in this game breakable? Well, most everything. What's up here? Oh. That's the way I came. Let's go in here then. Um, I'm not sure of what else to do, so let's interact with this door. Why do you have to die at the best parts? Why? Just, just fucking why? Then you don't get the sound of it. I mean, you know what that sounded like, but that's not as cool. <sighs> I don't know, man. I'm running 1050 Ti by gigabyte. them to the fold so apparently not everybody that was a mess are not my enemies and my combat that yeah I figured that much out Once I have Ollie, they're gonna make me go into it. Oh! <coughs> War gloves and sword die. Huh. Personally, I prefer swords, so. So basically you didn't end me with endless health that just won't do anything. Okay. So a tat sequence is that one. And there's this one. Oh, so these are ads and then there's the alternative attack. Which I have seen. Okay. Person that was really cool. It's like Iron Fist from Marvel. Okay, so different stances, different ways to move around. Come here.
Okay. Oh, those tips, tip. Then, war gloves. What's the difference? I wonder. And when do I get war gloves? So far it's pretty simple, straightforward what you're supposed to do, yeah figure that much out, not if anyone fights that, that's good to know. Huh, so am I making my way to the city then? Yeah, yeah. Still don't know why this is lagging. Really bugs me. Because, I mean, I have a GTX 1050 Ti and a pretty good CPU, and yet 100% of my CPU is being used, and in my earlier videos before I moved, if I remember correctly, it was up there, and I wasn't 100% of the CPU. But I was playing the normal life of strains. I was supposed to be for the storm, it's still 100%. I'm gonna have to figure out what's trying to use my CPU so much. There was one thing, it was like WMI provider in that, and I ended the task, but it just restarted, and so I'm like, hmm, what the hell is this thing? Hmm. So I gotta see if I can figure that out. Because that would, that was putting a large amount of strain on my CPU. And Chrome's thankfully no longer allowed to run in the background. I don't like that because that will take up a lot of space and I don't need it to. I guess space. So we've made it to the city place. There's lag in the cinematic scene. Are you serious? So I was talking about the key bindings. Key bindings. Well, in all fairness, I was, but my keyboard has different settings. Guidance bridge. Where I can make certain things light up. It's, it's a Viva keyboard that's all I know. Real the bot, but okay. So yeah. Rush. So I'm curious when and how and do I get a sword because I do like swords, both IRL and in-game. The artwork in this game though, I really like it. An absolver. Defeat. Rising in the Hanging Gardens in the Tower of Adol? Adol? Okay. But first I have to beat Kuritas in the, in the Coliseum. So I have to beat like three other people. You're gonna sit smart as one. So nine people apparently. 
Okay. Okay, so that's what this is. Why do you look so light spaced out when you talk? Seriously. So I'm there in the altar. Okay, so the red ones are like bosses, I'm guessing. What if I activate this? What does that do? It lands, apparently. That's what it does. Okay then. Wow, it lands massively. Dude, I can play my Atlas Rift better than this. And then interact. Oh, combat drive, social. Oh. So I can meet like legit players. Just in. Oh. So. Online play. Is basically what the Salter is for right now. Hmm. Interesting. I'm assuming that altar based thing is for online play with other players. Okay. Because I figured there was an online aspect of this game. Oh, hey, another one of these. Are those like guide markers or something? Like, I'm going the right way or some shit? Hunting path. Uh oh. The dramatic music change means there's something. Please stop. Dude. Seriously. Like every five to ten seconds, it lands. Okay. No, no I am not. How do you lag on the option screen? Are you fucking kidding me? You're trying to show me something right now? What are you? I just want to adjust the window, the view distance, the window distance? The view distance. It's not so hard. I'm gonna bring down the post process a little bit. Okay. Somehow I'm pretty sure I jumped from there to there. The view distance is pretty lowered, but apparently that's the quality of the view distance, not the that's all distance I can see like I thought it would be. What is this? Cillian bracelets. Okay. And then this. <coughs> so... These are good for if I'm going against up against somebody with a sword. But so far I haven't seen anybody with a sword. 
ironically, these little bracelets were are point seven, but these are point two. Wait, I don't know if that's in ounces or pounds, but you know, weight is weight. Either way, point two pounds. Ounces and pounds. I meant pounds and and or or kilograms. I think. You know what? Um, that's in this mode right now. It's like wait. It is. Well, technically, it's really it's four oh nine right now. So. West Coast Pacific Standard, if you're wondering. And apparently a lie all the time. I'm still here for you, I got the options right now. Literally everything but the post process is down to low. Post process is just being better light. Forgotten temple. No matter what happens, I appear to lag. I don't. My fucking god. That guy has a pure black mask. That's interesting. So are these people? I mean, I guess they're not my enemies. I can lock onto them like they are. Weird. Oh, I did not want to lock onto you. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Guys, I have absolutely no idea what's going on here. I don't even know if I'm supposed to fight these people. I mean, are they enemies? Am I supposed to fight them? Are they... Nobody has come to try to attack me? I know I'm supposed to try pass the trials and fight people, but... So far, these people haven't tried to fight me. There's another altar here. 
Um. Oh. So I'm assuming I'm the green dot though. And I'm on an altar. Okay. Um, let's find a one versus one session. So see if I can even do that. Achieving silence or incessant. Apparently, I can. <sighs> Here, puppies. Person? Okay, I cannot. Dude. This game is lagging so much right now. I would love to actually do a one-on-one, -on -one, but... I don't know. I cannot figure out what's happening. I literally cannot fight. I... At least now I can actually fight. Somewhat, I guess. Damn it. Okay, so I guess I... I'm not under romance. Level 3 versus level 18. Okay. Well, the matchmaking on this game probably isn't that good then. 
that is definitely a major complaint about the game. Because, you know, if I'm level 3 and I literally just started the game, I don't want to fight a level 18. I would prefer to fight a level, well, within my range of probably up to level 5, maybe a 6. But I don't know. I mean, it's an interesting game. It was a cheap game when I got it. It wasn't bad priced, and so, yeah, I figured I'd pick it up, plus free game, you know. And I've used GOG before. And I would've got it off of Humble Bundle, but on GOG they were giving me a free game with it, so I figured why the hell not take the free game. <laughs> um, anyways, once this is done loading, I think I'm gonna wrap it up. I, I guess I'll upload it. I mean, it's like, eh. It's okay. It's probably only gonna be one of the games that's in my library. I just don't play. But yeah, um, anyways, that was Absolver. If you like it, you can get it. Um, I think the promo on GOG is still going. If you don't want to use GOG, that's fine. I just use it for the price, for the, um, the free game. But anyways, have a great day. Or night. Or have a great everything. Adios.